Ram trucks built to serve. <laughs> Live from New York, it's the show that's already excited about Halloween. It's first things first <laughs> on today's show. Ooh, it's upset alert Friday. Why is Tom Brady? Oh my that's goodness! That's what I'm wondering. Why Woo! is he? Yeah, he might be. You never know. You never know. Somebody Meanwhile, Nick going all in on the prince who was promised. The best predictions in sports television in 15 minutes. It's a half hour show. That's yeah, why. Show. And finally, is the AFC title already on the line this Sunday? We're talking Bills Chiefs alongside Chris Broussard. I'm Kevin Wilds. Nick, yeah. are you willing to offer up? A prediction for the Bills Chiefs game right off the top. Oh, of yeah, the show. listen, I've been thinking about it and I've been trying to be, you know, chest out. The Bills obviously win. I mean, they're, they're clearly better. I mean, I don't even know why the Chiefs bother showing up, you know? I mean, the Bills are undefeated for a reason, America. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. They have lost. Start they have slow. lost. I keep forgetting. We start with Cowboys Eagles. Ooh, Sunday night. Demarcus Lawrence fueling the fire. Yeah, Take a listen. Is. It will be a good test for us, um, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like, you know, they do have a pretty good offense. Um, you know, they got a, got a good receiver core, um, good quarterback, you know, good offensive line. So, you know, they they well-rounded. But also, we them boys. Remember that. Don't worry about it. Y'all will see it on Sunday. What have you seen Amen. differently from Hurts, how he's grown? I know you guys have faced him twice as a starter, but he's taking a real step. This and how about this? That's the last question I'm here about Hurts. For real, though. He's talking a lot about Michael Because Michael. I really don't care. Ooh. My man is salty. You don't think I'm going to get one of those hats? You are wrong. The little adornment? <laughs> I like that. Nick, more to prove on Sunday. Cooper Rush or Jalen Hurts? I think this is going to surprise the audience, but to me it's without a doubt Jalen Hurts. Wow. Because... Let's be honest about why, the, despite being 5-0, and oh, and despite being atop the standings, they are not atop the tiers or many power rankings. And even on this show, when we talk about the best teams in the NFC, the Eagles are in the oh and the Eagles rather than the leading candidates. Is it because we don't trust their defense? No. Is it because we don't trust their offensive line? No, I'd have the best in the league. Is it because we don't trust their running game? No, they're excellent at that. It's because people, despite him winning NFC Offensive Player of the Month, despite him playing clean, really good football for the last five weeks, people cannot get over two things. Their initial inclination of Jalen Hurts is a guy who was benched at Alabama, had to transfer, second round pick, you know, good character, you know, good glue guy, but probably not a franchise quarterback. And then the confirmation of that initial opinion of him in the playoff game last year, when people saw the Eagles beating all these bad teams and said, yeah, but they were 0-6 against good teams. And then the playoffs, it's not only they lost Brew, but he played terribly, the Eagles played terribly and looked like they were outclassed. And so if people believe Jalen Hurts, for, does, not a top five quarterback, if they believed he was just no doubt a top 10 quarterback, then a hell of a lot of people would be picking the Eagles to at the very least win the conference, if not win the Super Bowl. So this is Jalen Hurts' first really good opportunity because if we're one, one of the yeah buts about the Eagles is their defense. I'm sorry, they haven't played the greatest defenses yet. Right. This is a great defense, mm -hmm. divisional opponent. So to me, Jalen Hurts is the X factor for the Philadelphia Eagles, so he has more to prove. Kind of, sort of. Because, oh. look, on this show, I don't think we're believers, right? In the I, Eagles? I, he's, yes. In, in, in Jalen, in the sure. Eagles, right? But elsewhere, I mean, there are a lot of people picking the Eagles to win the NFC. Certainly to be a top two, three team in the conference before the season started. So a lot of people do believe in Jalen Hurts. I want to see more. I'm not quite a full believer. And I agree with you that if he goes out against this defense – which no quarterback has even mustered a 90 passer rating yep. against, including Brady and all that they faced, then I will begin to believe, okay, because I love the intangibles, like you said, but I'll begin to believe with his unique style of play, the running more than the passing, so to speak, at least as far as touchdowns, that he can get it done. But it's got to be Cooper Rush, more to prove, because Cooper Rush, every time he takes a field, Nick, he's trying to prove he's a starter. Now, not whether for, not necessarily for the Cowboys, okay. but for somebody, right? Because we think if that comes back and, and everything gets back to normal, that some teams will look at Cooper Rush next year as maybe our starter. So every time he takes the field, 
He is trying to prove to the whole league that I can be your quarterback, your starting quarterback. Wow. And, Nick, there are a lot of people of your ilk that don't think he's that good. Yeah. Right, there you go. Correct. If he goes out and he's already beat the two Super Bowl teams last year, if he goes out and beats Philly, you got to give my man some love. So earlier in the production meeting, I was like, we're like, who we gotta get some sound from the Cowboys? I'm like, yeah, you know, we'll get some sound. I was like, hey, does, does Cooper Rush ever say anything? <laughs> and I'm like, nah, we listen to it. I'm like, all right, I'll go listen to it. There's, there's, he is in such a, I'm gonna take care of the ball. We're gonna sustain drives. Like the way that his persona is, it's not like I'm gonna go and grab this yeah. bull by the horns and prove to everybody I'm a starter. He's like, yeah, you know, no. Dak's been great quiet. when he's back. I know, but it's quiet, quiet to the confidence. point where, like, I feel like he's got nothing to prove. He came in. He's doing his job. Right, and it's, because I don't think anybody's box. making him a starter next year. I don't no think matter any, what happens the rest of so. the season? No, no. no, I don't. Well, I mean, I can't say no matter what happens. Like, I, if you're saying, you know, on the – you know, on the range of possible outcomes, is one of them he leads them to a Super Bowl. Then yeah, the Cowboys make him a starter. But if we, if Dak takes Say over, Dak's out the next two games, and they lose and to he, Philly and they beat Detroit, or they, is it Detroit or Chicago next? Whoever Detroit, the next one Detroit. is. Detroit. No, I think Cooper Rush is a backup quarterback, an expensive backup quarterback. Yeah. And by the way, you're proving my I point think, though. Go. He's got a lot to prove. Yeah, but I don't even know. I think Cooper Rush would be thrilled with that outcome. I think Cooper Rush, who looked like he did that good sit-down interview, I think it was with Aaron Andrews talking about, yeah, I thought I was out of football. Like, I thought I was going to have to go get another job. He's now looking at the Chase Daniel career path of, man, I could for 10 years be on a roster and have people be like, ah, he's reliable. He won't turn the ball over. He can start for us in a spot. So I understand what you're saying, which is Jalen Hurts, we, they're, they're almost playing different games here. Like Jalen Hurts is trying to prove, can I be the quarterback for the best team in football and one right. of the reasons they win the Super Bowl? Am I an elite quarterback? Exactly right. While Cooper's trying to prove, am I a starting quarterback? I just, and maybe it's being unfair, Brew, I do not, I have not opened my mind to the possibility that Cooper Rush is a starting quarterback in this Wow. League. I just don't I, think, I don't think it's I'm not it's saying he is. But I'm saying it is a possibility. And he's, look, Dak will probably be back next week, so he might not get to prove. But if he wins this game, and you know what? I think he's going to play well. I think he's going to have a big game. Oh, wow. If he has a big game, you already have you some. You, hold on. You think, I know you think the – I don't want to interrupt you. Yeah. But I know – I think I know you, you, that you're going to pick the Cowboys to win this game because you said it yesterday. So that's not spoiling anything. You, the the – you think they're going to win this game because Cooper Rush is going to play well? I wouldn't say because of Cooper Rush. The defense is always going to be the driving force. I think the run game will be strong. But I think he's going to have a much better game. Than, like, I think he's going to throw for 200-plus yards. Well, that's for double him, last be, week. Yeah, right. that's double last 240 week. yards. 240 yards. yards. He hasn't that thrown be, for that I'd yet. I'd be interested in that. 300 yards would be nice for the story. Well, he's done that before. People forget. Most electrifying man in sports story. entertainment. Ooh, look at Joe. That's my, my guy. Why are you so excited? Because I chose it's to my guy. Stay over there, remember? Stay on you the had side. him and you wanted I'm Pat back. I'm switching, switching back. back. You, you fell in love. So, Pium and Jake. Pium. Got the style and the fake, I'm always straight I got the dime and the shine like the lemonade The bitches crying like I say, ain't no time to waste You always lying like a race, right back in your face You always crying like a bitch, yeah, you better pray No better time for me, I'ma be a great These checks I'm signing, it's great, you should change your way You want someone and I hate the way you show your face Off-white kicks, got them danced out